Hello everybody, this is Budridge and this is uh, a new video that I call Parse Rules to Save Rules um, and we will continue where we left off in the last one with uh, our rule saving thing. Um, we have our action FM with our save layout. If we execute that from Thunar, we just get the notification here. We need homebud with y mus dash dash i n a, which is the rule, and this is the currently open directory. Now we want to save this this information to our D rules file here in a good uh, way, and one would think that maybe uh, that it would be as easy as just um, yeah we could add it here so echo path old rule and then just redirect that to or append that to our d rules file that we should have in config tuner d rules so if i save here now we can see the d rules file here and if i execute the command save layout you can see it added it here but I think I mentioned that in the last video that this will not work because every time we parse these rules uh, we exit this uh, the parsing or we stop the parsing as soon as we find a match in this deer pattern list here and this dot will always match it matches anything so it will never reach uh, the if we uh, append things after the dot it will never read those rules so that's one thing we need to take care of and another thing is we want to be able to update already existing rules and stuff so there it's a little bit more complicated than just appending uh, the string like that we will use parse rules i'm thinking because we already have some uh, testing for the file and stuff here creating a, a, a file if it doesn't exist and so on so it's good that we have that here and we can actually quite easily add what we need to this script without needing to modify any of our old scripts uh, because this parse rules is used by update fm and launch fm and both of them just uh, send um, the directory uh, to get the, the the rule corresponding to that directory back <clears throat> so if but what what we want to do in action fm then we send both uh, the the path or the, the directory and the current rule and uh, then we want a different action and and we can easily see if we have a, a sent a rule as an argument to this script or not so let's start by that. Let's create a new variable here called target rule is equal to dollar two. So now uh, parse rules here take two uh, variables. Could also do this uh, and add. Whoops. Let's do this. I don't know. Could even do this. Okay, uh, so search, that is what we call here target directory inside the awk, awk loop here. Let's change that variable name right away to trgdir. And then we change it here as well trgdir. TRG and then we add one for the rule trgrul. Uh, and that is equal to target rule, which is equal to the second command line option to this script. If we don't send uh, a second command line option, then trg rule will default to x inside this awk loop here. Um, and now we test here if trg dir which is this the first argument if that matches the first column in in a d rules file here then it um, prints the rule and exit the script right print dollar two and exit 
And that's what we want to do if, uh, if we don't pass a rule to this script. <coughs> Let's do this also. Parse rules. Now let's see here. Let's do dot. That should print itd here now. And it does. Up parse rules. Okay, so the first thing we need to test here if, is to see uh, if we have a, a rule argument or not. We can do that easily with trgrul, you know the name, inside awk, not this. Uh, if that is equal, or if that is not equal to... No, if that is equal, sorry. If that is equal to x, then we have only passed the directory, and then we want this print the second column and exit. That's what we want. Uh, so we could also put this in braces here. I don't know. I don't think you say that right. Put, put it in braces. Isn't that like some dental operation? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, if uh, else, if this is not true, then we have a rule argument, and then we want to do something different. And the different thing we want to do is uh, it's actually two different things we want to do here, depending on what we find. If we if we pass. Uh, this command parse rule dot and then uh, uh, rule then we want to search the file we will find dot here if we find a, an already existing directory in this list then we replace the rule with our new rule here but if we don't find uh, a directory in the list then we will want to add a new directory so that's what we're gonna try to fix here now so else we have a rule here now uh, then we want to substitute the second column with our variable trg rule and then i would like another thing we want to update the whole file so that basically means that we want to print all lines in the files and then uh, in some way um, replace the old file with the new output so to speak so I will add a new test here, because all of this belongs to the same test here, the same pattern test that, that we have in, in awk. Let's add an, another pattern test here, uh, for trg rule is not equal x, meaning we have passed a rule to, to the script. Uh, if that is true, then we print every single line. So let's see what happens here now. Here, now we can see it printed the whole file uh, with the, the dir list and everything. But we can also see that it matched uh, the uh, tilde dot here, and then it replaced the second argument with rule. But we can see that that, is, that has also happened for the default rule, because it will always match the dot also. Because now we don't exit the loop or anything, we keep on searching and stuff. So, so we, we need to make sure that we do different things if we reach the dot. Let's add an else if here and uh, uh, test for dollar one is equal to dot. <coughs> this means we, we have reached the default rule, else we have found a matching rule. And this is where we want to replace but if we find the dot then we don't want to replace the rule then we want to add a new line with our new rule so then we can just print trg dir some spaces and trg rul see what happens here now we get this um, yeah, it have replaced the rule because it found the dot it matched, but then it also matched uh, the, do the the default rule here, and then it printed uh, this stuff trgdr and uh, our rule, and then 
it also printed the, the, the normal line, meaning the default line. So, so it kind of worked here, it added it, but it still did both of these things. We want to make sure that if we find a match in the list, then we don't, then we never add a default rule like this. So we could do something like this, whoops. PRGDIR is equal to found. Because this is when we replace the second column here. When we do so, that, then we don't need to search for, for the target directory anymore. And then we can change uh, trgdir to, to whatever we want, basically. So let's change it to, to found. Uh, and then we just add a simple if here before we print our new rule to see if, if, if target directory is found. trgdir uh, is not equal to found. If that is true, print trg blah blah blah. Let's see. There. Now it only printed. Now it only changed this rule, but printed all other lines in the file. Could test with a different rule here. Now it updated with that rule. We could test with a different directory, or l let's see if it creates a new directory for us. If we name this something else. Dot sunlo. And now it added dot sunlo, it didn't change any other directories and, and it kind of works as we want it here now. Um, but it just prints this stuff to standard out. And we can also test with, with um, without a rule, then it should just print the current rule. <coughs> What we want to do now is replace uh, the file with this output, our modified output here, with either a new rule or a modified rule. And I don't know if you know about uh, sed, which is a uh, command that is very similar to awk in many ways. Um, I think I have a test file somewhere. Let, let, let's copy this drules file and then I think I have it here, tmp test file, yes, here it is, and then we can do cat tmp test file, and it prints out this copy of the D rule here. With sed, you can do things like this, sed um, s substitute the beginning of the line with whatever globally in the test file chunk and it prints out the new output with the uh, replacement we have done but said have this built-in command line option this is what I wanted to show you that you can print use said and then dash I then it will instead of printing it to standard out it will update the file with uh, the new yeah replaced stuff here so now it looks like this uh, you cannot really do this in awk uh, by default, but you kind of can anyways. I think I have prepared it here a bit. Yes, here it is. There is a directory on your system. If you are using uh, gawk, meaning the GNU awk version, you can check that with awk capital V, and then you will see here I have GNU awk. It's also called gawk often, like this. Uh, if you if you have that installed, then you probably have this directory uh, slash usr slash share slash awk, and this is like a, a, a directory containing some extra library files, so to speak, that you can uh, extend your awk scripts with. And there are all kinds of cool things here, like uh, there's uh, yeah to to get up here, for instance, is one that I have been using a couple of times. Very interesting. You can create, yeah, just like get opt in, in, in bash, you can use it here in, in um, awk. But there is also this function in place, which is uh, the same functionality as seds dash i flag. So you can use this in awk, uh, but then you have to first include this, this file. And to include a file in awk, you use, this will be a little bit confusing here, but uh, to include a file, 
you will use the dash i <laughs> command line option. But here it's it, it stands for include and not uh, not uh, in place as it is in in said. And then you just specify the full path to the file and that will be included with your awk script here. So if we test this now and do our parse rules. Yeah, let's do that one and let's bring up the file also so we can see the change here. This is the actual dot uh, rules file. If I execute this now, you see we didn't get any output. But we have our new uh, rule added to the file. So that's all uh, fine and uh, nice, you know. But um, the problem is that if we would execute parse rules here with, uh, with just the directory argument, then we only get, uh, then it should only print the rule, right? Didn't get any output. It updated the file here now with our, uh, with just the rule. So this, this is something that we have to uh, take care of right away, uh, make sure that it doesn't use this uh, include or in place uh, library file when we are uh, executing parse rules without a rule argument. <coughs> now I will show you another really really handy bash uh, thing here that is kind of related to what we have done previously in bash. Um, also, I should mention that you don't have to specify the full path here. When the file that you want to include is located in this library, uh, this special directory here, it's, it's called the awk path, then you can actually just write it like this. And even uh, this will work, just so you know. So let's leave it like this. But if you want to include like your own awk file or whatever, then you have to specify the full path or update the awk path. But whatever, let's not uh, go too deep into that. What we need to do now is, uh, let's see our dRules file, yeah, I restored it, good, um, parse rules. So, let's do a simple example, as usual, you know, var uh, 1 is equal to hello, no, let's not take hello, let's uh, say goodbye, uh, echo var 1, yeah. And then we can uh, use this, set the default value for var1 here, in case it's not set, then we can say hello. But it says goodbye, because var1 has a value. If I do unset var1, now it doesn't have a value, and this should print hello. Cool. Uh, you can actually do the opposite here. Let's uh, re reset var1 to goodbye can do echo again, it, it's goodbye. You can also do this. Instead of a dash here, add a plus, colon plus. Uh, and then we can say var1 is set. And then it prints this string if the variable you, you, you use here have a value, then it will print this string. But if it's empty, then it will print nothing. And this, this might sound like a very cryptic, strange uh, thing to, to when would you ever use this, but it's actually perfect for uh, this occasion here, when you want to include an, a command line option sometimes. So here we have target rule is equal to $2, but if we don't pass any $2 here, uh, then target rule will just be empty here. So then we can do target rule colon plus and then dash i in place. So now this will only, then we can remove the old in place here. So now when we execute parse rules with just a directory, it should just print the, the rule to standard out. And we, if we add a, a, a rule, it should update the file. And there, now it updated the already existing rule for this uh, uh, test directory here. And now we actually got everything we need. I, I don't think we should go uh, full, full crazy person here, because we could uh, add some things uh, 
so it uh, we, would, would keep the alignment here and stuff but it's actually yeah that's like 10 minutes more I, I, I don't know maybe we do it in another video when we uh, refactor the other scripts as well but but for now this is fine because this will work at least and that's what's important the things are working save there go to action FM uh, change this to parse rules first argument is the path second argument is the rule don't need to do this uh, we can say updated bead rules like this open tuner open d rules this directory vid y mus doesn't have a rule here so if i would uh, execute our new save layout command here updated d rules and now it added that directory here to this list another thing also that i have been thinking about is that now um, sometimes or you probably also want the new rules to be added at the top of the list that that would be the best thing but whatever that's also something we can uh, improve later on and if i would change uh, the layout here a bit now i uh, sorting by time i think and and list view execute the command why not add a key binding for it also Control g so now i can press Control g here it updated our rule let's see if we can update one of these the bin uh, or the dot directory i want that as list view or wrong key f uh, and then Control g and it updated to list view fantastic this is great this, uh, and this is a feature that i didn't have in my 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 original rise when i made the demo video from the start so and and it feels great to have this actually it will be really easy to to create a custom uh, layouts for all kinds of different directories maybe i should mention here uh, because it's so easy I, I, and this is something I, I thought we needed to add some code to, to have this because uh, let's say let's say that you would uh, have a global rule for each subdirectory here because all of them will default to the default rule here you would need to set like if, if you want all of them to have the same rule as uh, well right now it have the default almost but you could do this Let's say we want all subdirectories in in dot to to be in icon view then you can just add a regular expression here uh, star or dot star now all subdirectories will be in icon view so that's how easy it is to add, add that and if you wanted one of these to have a to not be in icon view let's say qt5ct here then you just whoops add that Damn it. Before the global rule here. So QT5CT. This is list. But all other subdirectories is icon view, icon view, QT5CT, list view. Great. But this will probably be uh, icon view now, the subdirectories of this. Yes. But whatever. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, We'll see what we do in the next video i would like to create a function for this it's really annoys me when i look at this uh, uh, and yeah i think we need to do that and maybe add some more actions here some actions i would like to add is delete and rename files but then we will also do some more advanced things after that but yeah delete and rename files that very easy actions easy action is also a weird 80s sleaze rock band from sweden um but that's something that we may do in the next thunar video have a great day everybody bye bye